freedom! Today I want to talk to you about Hitbox. A lot of people have a lot of questions about Hitbox. I'm going to try to answer those right about now. Yes, no, maybe in the future. All right, cool, bye. Network-wise, everything pretty much works the same. If you're a freedom-powered network and you encourage your partners to go onto Hitbox, then yes, financially, everything for you works the same. For the partner, revenue-wise, everything works the same. So for instance, if you're on a 60-40 contract, that means that you get a 60-40 split with freedom. If you're on a 70-30, if you're on an 80-20, if you're on some kind of weird, like, 65, I can't math, but whatever's left. When it comes to signing up, there is an interim solution, which you'll find in the description down below, that'll take you to a Google Doc where you can sign up. It does ask you for some information, just fill out the form, and that'll get you going for now. There will be an integrated solution in our dashboard coming soon, TM. Hitbox partners partnered directly through Hitbox do have a slightly different experience, and I'll go ahead and I'll explain that now. If you're partnered directly with Hitbox, that usually means that you average 100 concurrent viewers at any one time. If you're partnered through Freedom, most likely you're a little bit smaller, or you're taking advantage of some of the other awesome benefits that we have. The great deal about this relationship with Hitbox is it allows us to partner smaller streamers, which means that there is a little bit of a difference between a bigger streamer and a smaller one. When I say bigger streamer for the rest of this video, I want you to keep in mind, I mean anything from 75 to 100 concurrent viewers and above. When I say smaller streamer, I mean someone who averages less than 75 viewers concurrently. For those of you that are like me and don't know what concurrently means, it means at the same time. Don't feel bad, I had to look it up. So smaller streamers are going to share the same sub button because it's a community thing. Which means that if Bob and Joe are smaller streamers with freedom, that means that if someone subscribes to Bob, they can go on to Joe's channel and share the benefits. Why? Because it helps breed community. It helps breed people discovering other streams and playing with the features on other streams. At first, this may seem kind of like a limiting thing. However, given case studies, it does help build community. Not only that, but with the additional work and everything that is put into each and individual account for Hitbox and Freedom, it makes more sense to do it this way because it leads to a little bit less admin time and a little bit more focus and strive and drive to reach higher numbers. When it comes to custom emotes and things like that, yes, we can do it for the slightly larger streamers. Now keep in mind, this number that I mentioned earlier, 75 to 100, is still 25 fewer concurrence than direct through Hitbox partnerships. So it does help lower that bar so that you can meet your goal a little bit easier. So yes, you can have a custom sub button, you can have a custom emotes, all that stuff, no problem at all, but only if you meet that bar. When it comes to payments, a lot of people have a lot of questions. Luckily enough, it all works the same as everything else through Freedom. It's all paid out through your Freedom ID, which means that it gets paid out through PayPal, just like your YouTube earnings, with the same delay and everything like that. If you're asking about ad formats, if you're asking about how much you get paid and all that, these are all very good questions. Unfortunately, it's just like YouTube, which means it's not going to be the same for everybody. And it's also a little bit hard to tell because you never know what ads you're going to get when. And it's also really hard to tell because you never know what your users are going to do. Whether they're going to watch an ad, not watch an ad, have ad block on. Who knows? Some of you may be asking, at what point can you contact us to let us know if you've become a larger streamer? You don't. We come to you when we see the numbers. And it happens a lot of times automagically. If you notice that you've hit these numbers and no one's contacted you after about 30 days of consistently hitting these numbers, you can always contact us via support and somebody will take a look at it. But 99 times out of 100, we've probably already noticed it before then, and probably shot you an email. All in all, everything on the Hitbox MCN is meant to help you grow your channel as a streamer 
and possibly also do that cool ricochet thing that you do with social media where you tell people on one social media to follow you on another social media and then you ricochet people back and forth and you end up with a much larger and more diverse audience because of it. But I shouldn't have to tell you that because you're all YouTubers and you know how that works. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. If you have any more questions, let me know and I'll definitely try to help answer those. Um, in the comment section down below. I'm also going to be trying to write a couple of support articles dealing with this just because there are a lot of frequently asked questions. I'll try to leave those in the description when and if they're written as well. One last thing before I go, I'm curious if anyone would be interested in a small mini-series here on the Freedom Central channel about how to grow your streaming presence. Uh, I do have a little bit of experience with this. I've been talking to a lot of very large streamers recently, anywhere between, you know, 500 and 5,000 concurrent streamers, and I've compiled a pretty good list of tips, tricks, and things like that that I'd like to share with you, but only if you want it. As always, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments, please. And remember, believe it or not, I believe in you.